Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you six different ways to create a vignette effect in Photoshop. Starting from what I consider to be the easiest to the most difficult, but even the most difficult method is pretty simple once you get the hang of it. You can download the project files for this tutorial to see how everything was put together and have a photo to work from if you don't have one of your own. Let's get started. For the first method, we're going to create a new layer and we're going to fill that layer with black. Then I'm simply going to use the eraser tool with a big soft brush and I'm going to erase the areas that I don't want the black to show up. Then I can change the blend mode and the opacity to give it the look that I want. So you can see the before and the after. The second method is similar but it uses a layer mask instead of just erasing the layer. So again I'm going to create a new layer and fill it with black and then I'm going to click the new layer mask icon to give it a layer mask. And then I'm going to paint black on my layer mask to hide the areas that I don't want to show. So I'm going to paint right in the middle since I don't want my black layer to show there. And then again I can change the blend mode and the opacity to get the look that I want. This method is really similar except now I can always come back into my layer mask and make adjustments to where I want the vignette to show up. The next method uses a curves adjustment layer. So I'm going to come up to my adjustments and click curves. And then I'm going to bring the curve down just a bit to darken my overall image. Then in my layer mask, I'm going to paint black on the areas where I don't want my curves adjustment to take effect. So I'm going to paint again in the middle of the image. And again, you can change the blend mode and opacity. This is usually my preferred method because it darkens the edges in a kind of non-linear way. So it preserves some of the highlight and shadow detail around the sides, which is more how light works in the real world. Plus it's non-destructive. You can do the same thing with a levels adjustment layer too and get a slightly different effect. The fourth method uses Photoshop layer styles. So I'm going to create a new layer and fill it with black. And this time I'm going to change the fill percent to 0% in the layers palette. And that's going to hide my layer but still allow the layer styles that I apply to show through. Then I'm going to double click my layer to open the layer style dialog. And I'm going to give it an inner glow. Now I can play with things like the opacity, the size, and the range to give my vignette the look that I want. This also makes it really easy to change the color of your vignette if you're looking for a special effect. The fourth method also uses Photoshop layer styles, but instead of inner glow we're going to use a gradient overlay. So I'm going to create another new layer and fill it with black, and change the fill percent to zero again. Then I'm going to double click it, and this time I'm going to choose gradient overlay. First I'm going to set my blend mode to multiply because I only want the black in my gradient to affect the image. Then I'm going to change the style to radial and depending on your gradient you might need to check the reverse checkbox. With the layer style dialog still open I can click on my image and position my gradient to move my vignette wherever I want. Then I'm going to increase the scale and decrease the opacity and I'm done. The last method that I'm going to show you uses the ellipse tool. So over in my toolbar I'm going to click and hold and choose ellipse tool. And making sure that shape is selected I'm going to draw an ellipse around the same size as my canvas. Then I'm going to press A to choose the direct selection tool and click on my vector path. And up here under path operations I'm going to choose subtract front shape. And that's going to make my black show up on the outside of the vector shape that I just created. Then in my properties panel I'm going to increase the feather and that's going to blur the edges of my vector shape. Then I can change the blend mode and the opacity to get the overall effect that I want. You can also double click the layer thumbnail and choose a totally different color for your vignette if you want. This method is nice because you can use it not just with an ellipse but with any vector shape and then you can resize and move it around as you wish. You'll notice that each vignette we created has a different look. And it's up to you to decide which one works best for your particular image. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.